Why hello everybody, Dirk Phoenix Gaming here, and welcome back to Vampire. As you can see, we are on the pause screen because I skipped ahead in time a little bit. Long story short, I went wandering around and found the passage I was supposed to be killing, using to get to the next part of our destination. I have now actually, as a result of the fact I wasn't looking where I was going, bumbled my way into a boss fight, which I'm almost through with, but it wasn't anything really worth mentioning so far. It's literally almost identical to that Fergal boss fight, and I have him almost dead, but I figured I should probably show off the ending, just in case there's any narrative purpose to it. So let's hop back in. As you can see, Basically identical. Hits just as hard, but just as slow. And he pulls the whole shadow clone trick as well. I managed to die on that because I got cocky. So I guess you'll be seeing the full boss fight. That shows what I know. We'll be showing off the whole thing. We're all the way back up at the start of the area that I'll be passing through, though. So, I can look around a little bit more, maybe, before I hop down into that. And probably eat a few rats just to top up my blood supply. Would be rather nice. Yes, let's have a few rat snacks. Believe I'm doing this. Top up the blood supply. And then we can hop down there and start slicing his face open. Not the most substantial blood supply so far. It's down here and into boss fight territory, I think. This idiot is also level 32, though, so... We should probably be a little cautious, considering he is seven levels above me. Still, I have a very fancy blade that I can use to slice people up. And even this idiot's shadow clones will not be helping him out with that. Okay. Hit him once more and back off. We have a handful of shotgun blasts left, but I'd like to refrain from using them just because I am pretty low on shotgun shells right now. Get him. Another few hits in, then back off. Mix of caution and aggression, as I like to put it. We've got a third, good third of his health down already, so this is going much better, ironically. Now that I'm... Ironically, this is going a lot better this time than when I tried it before without providing commentary. Okay, heal yourself up once more, and another time. Good 
let's be here. I meant to use my ultimate there, but what you gonna do? Give him a few spankings. Seriously, who even is this guy? He seemingly randomly decided to jump me when I was down here. Then again, the reason why Fergal wanted uh, to fight us was just as vague and impossible to understand. Violence of Volkoids, uh, collectible, and some stuff. Also a bit of Expa. I like me some Expa. So that's very nice. I'll take some healing. Next there. Can't get any loot down here, but we have some lead plates, so maybe I can make an upgrade. Hmm, let's see, yeah. Not interested in anything they're showing off over there, but I can use instant transmission. And yes, I am going to keep referring to that as instant transmission. Because of reasons. Soil letter, Robert Teasdale. My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. She was seen for the last time in a bar in the neighborhood. Not the one she works as a waitress, but another one. The Dancing Trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant and unknown man, maybe a foreigner. There are many rumors of men and women vanishing in the area. I am convinced my Luis has been abducted and is somewhere nearby. The police will not help me. I've decided to look for her by myself. If you find this, then it means I failed saving her. Medium size, dark hair, a scar on the right cheek. Please finish my work. Louise's father was determined hmm. to find and save her. Well, that identifies the one more person. This Louise. Still quite a few people we know precisely nothing about the area though, but we'll work on that. And that one right there is our mother, who we've not got around to speaking with yet. I'll get to that soon. Still a couple of quests around here we need to do. That I've not gotten into, including finding this guy a restaurant, which is a rather bizarre thing to be doing, quite honestly. The rest of those can just wait for another time, I suppose. Now, we want to keep pressing on and find where it is that we're trying to go. The shortcut to Mr. Dawson's house, probably. Where I'm actually supposed to go. This just takes us back down to the 
place we were at before. But if I go down here... Maybe try that? No, that's the wrong direction, eh? We saw something just now about a quest. Louise may be nearby, I think is what that's telling me. So we're going to have a poke around and see if we can't find her. If that is indeed the case. Over this way, indeed. Check out what's over in this direction first. Oh, well, it's pointing me towards something that doesn't matter with my custom marker because of the fact that I am below ground, and I'm pretty sure that will be once we get back up on the surface again that it matters. Locked door. It's locked, all right. Or Rather, I'm on the wrong side of that door. Oops. Didn't want to do that. That might do it. We will see. It's locked. It's going to be another one of those puzzles. It's going to be a tiny little pain to deal with. Hmm. Is it raised enough? I cannot enter. No. Not raised enough just yet. That puts it back down again. Back up. New. Just needed to raise it a tiny bit more, since one of those could apparently be used multiple times. So we got that, and we should find our missing person soon enough. First, grab that. on, because apparently locking on is bad for your health, with how much jumping around nonsense it results in. That's one down. Seriously? Uh. 
I hate Skull. I really do. They're such a pain to kill sometimes. But even worse in large numbers. As much is for certain. As that was the only real challenge there was with these guys. The fact there were a bunch of them made them annoying to try and kill. Yes, now that we've managed to get that taken care of. Drain this, and... Down we go. Looking for our missing person. Over here, grab that, bracelet and some aluminum, and some shillings and a rivet. Gets me a bit more towards that final shotgun upgrade. And I think we can hear our kidnapped person wandering around. Now can't we? Before we deal with her though, and resolve that, I need to numb on some rats. Is despicable. I have there we go. Thirst for blood. That's good enough, I think. Let me go, you bastard! You Londoners are no match for me! And I am going to use my ultimate on you. I'm proud to like. Yes. Now, let's. Yeah. And you are dead, so... What's this diary thing? Uh, I've just arrived in London after a grueling journey from Manchester. The city is sad and despaired. It will not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here. I cannot wait to start my research. Soon, I won't be a virgin anymore. Oh, so that's what this is about. Just some asshole who wanted to get laid. And, of course, who wants her to be his wife for eternity. A fucking course. <laughs> Nothing more I can grab over here, so I'll unlock that door. And let her out. After we grab the loot, including another rivet. Nice. Miss Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, Miss. Yeah. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go. As your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Couldn't Thankfully, say. he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Okay. We'll have to wait to treat her until later. I could try to just straight up mesmerize. Is an eat her good but I don't and think be I'm going to do that until we meet again. Success with that investigation. Yeah. 
Just hoping she can manage to get out of there. Apparently we can't just take her with us for whatever reason. Does she like herself so much she wants to stay there? That's a little bit disturbing, honestly. Common axe. I'll be having that just for the sake of grabbing something else, which I will no doubt eventually sell. And I believe this is our way out. So let's get going. And find what it is we're here to find. Shotgun shell, more shillings. And some bullets and aluminum. But now, let's open this so we can avoid having to take the long convoluted route through the future. I'm not going to enter the manor just yet. I don't think I have other places I'd rather get to. There are apparently a couple of people we can chat to, though. And I can nab this stuff in the middle of a store without anyone being bothered about it. Lovely. And we know you? Or is that just generic stuff? Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been yeah, apparently we know her, and indeed. we know how we know and her. Unlike with Clarence. I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. We had a little sub-objective, I believe, for this. Investigate Dawson. I suppose that makes sense, because we wanted to learn more about him, I did say. And that'll be handy if we want to decide if we're actually going to turn him into a vampire or just kill him or whatever. May I look at your well, goods? Let's see what she's got. It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Okay. A couple of blood samples there I'm going to need to do something with. And we need a couple more... I need a couple more good handle parts. At some point, to be able to upgrade our new sword that I'm not using yet. So I'm struggling for the words there. And I don't know why. I don't think we need to 
buy or sell anything at the moment, so Dr. Reed, I'll leave that be. I am glad to see you again. There's someone downstairs. Let's see what this whole thing is about, shall we? Little eavesdropping. Yeah. Be careful, Carol. You're wasting good food here. Yep, yeah, yes, mother. I said be careful, child. Oh. Dear. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Mommy has been so clumsy again. No, th that's okay. It, it won't bleed for long. Oh, dear. Are okay. oh, you feeling sick? Do you need to see a doctor? Oh no, no, dear. No, no, I'm not. I'm fine. This I, I already is saw not a doctor last good. Week. Not good at all. Don't be silly. You must see a doctor. Just don't tell him how clumsy your mummy is, all right? I love you so much, my baby. I love you too, oh, mother. Not good. <laughs> yes, apparently our old patient is not quite as kind as you might first believe. Unfortunate, that. Fortunately for her, she is a merchant, so we will not be eating her. Need to find my way downstairs. And talk to Carol real quick. Or maybe Carol will just come up here sorry, and check that way. Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost. I can enough. see the injury on your hand, Carol. Please, no lies. Is it true you often hurt yourself, Carol? Yes, it's true. I try to behave. I really do. But one way or another, I always end up injured or wounded. I'm so stupid. Why would you be stupid? It's like I can't help getting under my mother's feet. That's how I end up being pushed, or cut, or, or burned. You see, I'm a stupid girl, really. When exactly do these accidents happen? Ever since I was little. That's why I need to stay with Mum. I'm not capable of taking care of myself. Hmm. Yes, you see, even if I didn't know about that little incident we observed earlier, I would find that highly suspicious. I really would. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicott used to pass by and was always nice to me. Nithicott. Come by anymore. I know that name. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about yeah, him that's right. in Whitechapel. He said poet in Whitechapel. We know him. Very interesting connection there. Mr. Nithicott? And those of you who do not remember, was the poet we met in Whitechapel and Camilla is the mute florist. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. 
It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Again, even if we didn't know about that little incident earlier, well, that's suspicious. Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. First aid. Taken care of her when she was injured. Yes, to hide the fact that she was the one doing the injuring, no doubt. Yeah, sorry, but your mom's kind of a bitch. So I'm not gonna say that to you, but yeah. Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Well, there's a question about this a little bit. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? I've heard the name a few times around, but I've been out of the area for a long time. Anything you can tell me about him? Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Yes, not very nice Goodbye. definitely describes that. I have a morning. Definitely. Good evening, sir. Time to ask Good around evening, a bit more you know thoroughly you can about call me this. Caroline, my dear doctor. Aloysius Dawson. Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Interesting. So apparently his brother died in a plane crash. And yes, as I suspected, he is the pillar of the community. Which is going to maybe cause some problems. If we end up killing him, because we decide he's too ruthless to let live, well, things are not going to go over well. Of the community, we're going to get screwed quite thoroughly. Yeah, I'm not actually going to pursue any of those points right now. In terms of conversations or anything. Not yet, anyways. For a couple of reasons. The main one just being the fact that I have other things I would rather do at the moment. Now, I think I'm going to head down here. Yes. This 
quite good place. We have a person sitting in the ass end of nowhere. Let's say hi. Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. The cards. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. Uh -oh. My name is Usher. Usher Tall Tree. Yes, this you is the, the Usher of the Tall Tree that was the Brotherhood of mentioned Ball before. Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me. Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. Hmm. So that's one hint for him already. But I gotta say, I kinda like this guy already. I am not planning on eating him. Not unless we learn he's a total asshole, anyways. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing mm -hmm. in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller, then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Why do people keep bringing that up? Honestly. Uh, two of three hints now. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Okay, I'm not going to ask him to read our fortune. But what do you do here exactly? Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. I'm sorry, what? People think you're a vampire? Let me guess, it's the bloody guard of Prewin. Constantly messing up everyone's shit, isn't it? Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewin, who else? <laughs> But yeah, they called it. To totally called it. And they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook. They quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you that ever find it, I'd point. be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it. Jonathan, some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. Do not read it. Okay, I can do that while we're off on this investigation. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Okay. Can you tell me about the Brotherhood? I find it rather interesting that you're speaking with me. Dr. Swansea mentions that most other members of the Brotherhood would not have been willing to speak to us. Why are you? May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. No problem. Just let me know if it's a taboo topic and I'll drop it. Who founded you? Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate, 
and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Well then, perhaps you would care to tell me about this rivalry with the guard of Prewin. Where did that stem from, and what's up with it anyways? I know there is no love lost between the guard of Prewin and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then. A strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the schism history? then? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Ah, that's very interesting. So, what I'm hearing then is that the Guard of Prewin is actually a splinter group of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. Kind of like the Brotherhood of Steel and the Brotherhood of Steel Outcasts in Fallout 3 is the way I would look at it. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? The vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. That's all I ask. All right. Let me hear it. The walls of your prison have already been raised, Jonathan. But you will freely accept to be locked inside, full of hope for a better day. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Yeah, I think in a lot of ways. Jonathan still kind of feels guilty for this, so... Yeah, if I could have just convinced her... Or that she didn't die, didn't need to die, and... That we could have helped her if I could have just convinced her of that. Maybe she still could be have here. survived as a vampire. If only she had given me a chance to explain. If only I could have found the words. Not all vampires accept their new condition. Since suicide is impossible, you have to find a way to get someone else to relieve the pain. I could have saved her. No, Jonathan. Honestly, I didn't think he's ever going to believe that. I wouldn't be surprised if whenever he, Jonathan does eventually end up getting killed, that he still thinks he could have saved his sister, even however long in the future that is. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Readings which blackened his heart. Intriguing. So, he was a member of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn until 1900. We have all the available hints about Dawson now. I'm going to say goodbye for the moment. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. The fool and the empress, again. What are the cards trying to tell us? OK. 
Okay. It's locked, all right. Can't take that. So if I ever end up eating him, which I don't think I will, because I rather like this fellow, if that ever ends up happening, I will undoubtedly do something. And with that chest, shame you can't pickpocket though. But for the time being, I actually think I'm going to put off entering Dawson's mansion. We're going to take care of a few of these side quests. Specifically the one to find... Mr. Russell, a nice restaurant. Go and have a look, see around, see about that. Okay, that then attack. Oops. Great. Just the best kind of misclicks. Right there, isn't it? Well, let's kill him. This place. I'll have a few shillings. And obviously, we are showing up as a reflection, so anyone who says vampires don't make reflections is obviously full of themselves and has no idea what they're talking about. Or they're like Mr. Thormoten, or whatever his name is, in regards to their competence. Shifting from place to place is so aggravating. And as you can see back there, it can almost get me killed. A couple of cases. Okay, well, in this instance, almost get me killed is a little bit of an exaggeration, but even so. I think I'm probably going to be doing this 
them to find an exceptional restaurant off camera. Just because it would be slightly less of a pain that way. But Charlotte's friend Emily. Looking for her, I can do. That should be relatively straightforward. To some degree, at any rate. to that thing. Not sure. But I need to get myself to higher ground somehow. Out here, maybe? Nice and quick little skirmish right there. Unfortunately, it's obviously not over here. Our destination. Well, I say unfortunately. It's unfortunately for me, seeing as that means I still have no idea where to look or how to get up to any of those places. But other than that, it's not unfortunate. <sighs> but 
now. I'm having no fun. Okay, so this little section is probably just going to be shoved in in the middle of sign of a struggle. One episode or another. But this is the section involving the side quest from Charlotte, Elizabeth Ashbury's adopted daughter. And basically, her friend went missing, and we are looking for her friend, is what's going on at the moment. So, we'll see where this takes us. Following the blood trail. Takes us over to the docks, apparently. Great. Who are you? What are you doing? A murderer and French. And a vampire. Wonderful combination. But I'm here to solve the mystery concerning the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. And who the hell are you? And who exactly are you? I am Jacques Michel Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois Colombe, at your service, my dear cousin. In other words, he is an arrogant Ponzi bastard, and I don't even care enough to question him further about that. What are you doing here? I recently decided to visit London. I've always dreamed of visiting a city on the verge of collapse. Such a delicate yet intense spectacle. You're an asshole. You take pleasure from others' misery. I have been a totally depraved and immoral creature since the day I was reborn, sir. And probably before. Well, plus he admits it, minus he is a jackass. So, you're what coming you over do, more yeah. on the Pleasure. negative side of Take things, pictures. really. Enjoy the show. Have fun. Believe me, I won't be the only foreign immortal who bought a ticket to the fair. Right. I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. Yes, the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding coat. So you admit you murdered her? I admit nothing, my good sir. I only regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh, blood can be so messy. What happened? She wanted to become one of us. Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but... Uh, I must admit her direct approach tempted me. And then what? The body rejected my blood. It happens, you know, sometimes even with voluntary prey. At least her gurglings brought me some fun, until the artery burst. Your cruelty deserves punishment, sir. And what else is new? Yeah, you smarmy bastard. Your blood shield is annoying. Spear now. Let's murder his face. You asshole. That's all I have to say. Heal some more. 
then he can die because he is an asshole. I will take it shillings and lead plate. Yeah, that guy was a prick, and I am honestly probably going to celebrate his death because he deserved it. But now we gotta head over to Charlotte and let her know what became of her friend. This is gonna be a little awkward. There you are. I've solved the issue with your missing friend, but it is not as good news. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Okay, yes, I have found Emily. It is not good. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure to become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood? I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. Charlotte's stay. Hi, Charlotte. Hmm. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. So, let's have a look. What is this steak? Got going for it. 35 stun without any upgrades. I think I might make a few upgrades. And then equip that alongside my sword as my secondary loadout, as opposed to the double-bladed as opposed to the two-handed scythe, I mean. But, I am going to pause my recording here, because this will just be inserted wherever it fits. So, no need to keep recording. See, I've been told from this notebook. The one he told us not to read. A request I'm going to do my best to honor. Unless I completely forget about it. And then end up reading the thing by accident. Which is quite possible. I mean, this is me, after all. I read things by accident all the damn time. decided it wasn't worth their effort to pursue me, apparently. Thank you for that. A little bit of blood magic, I suppose. Thank 
go. Now you. That was quick. I will return later. What the hell was that about? It's locked. I will return later. Because we have to find out where his notebook was taken. See if I can't get up there like this first. First, I will murder your face and heal myself. I will return later thing. Can we just not get in to the theater right now? That would seem to be the case, that that quest is just inaccessible at the moment. Which is dumb. Quests should not just be objectively inaccessible. For no good reason. Two hit kills. Our villain. Nice, I have to admit. Four hit kills aren't too bad either. Now let's see what kind of stuff we can get out of looking at these two. Thick strippy blood sample, strong regeneration serum, and thick brisk, that's strong stamina serum. We have just one more to unlock, which is probably just a more advanced blood serum. I'm sure one good handle part. and two rivets at the moment. And yes, I am going to have to put that one off. that for now.
Okay. Free women are no longer really a threat to me. I do love being able to say that. Oh, it's the free win. Experience on legs. And not really much experience. It's like five experience for encounter or some such, I think. Let's see what I get off of that guy, just out of curiosity. Yeah, five experience for enemy killed. Not much at all. It's locked, all right. for a second then I finish two off and yeah we're over in Whitechapel now because I am an idiot when it comes to marking destinations sometimes trying to talk to the guy you're talking to. Goodbye, Mr. Let's see, I need you never... one good handle part and a couple of rivets. Sure. Yeah, two rivets. And a good handle part. There we are. Now I can make those upgrades. Get into this hideout over here. This is despicable. Okay, here we go. And I'll make a couple of upgrades. I'm not gonna love myself just yet. I'll save that until after I resolve the situation with Dawson. Two hundred and fifty two damage. I need the same amount to upgrade my scythe, which I'm just keeping on hand in case I ever need a two hander. Now let's increase the Oh, apparently I already upgraded my shotgun. I didn't realize it. Derp. Fortunately, I can now upgrade the pistol 
the perfect level, and those rivets will be handy because uh, that will I'll increase how much damage it does as my backup weapon. But I am going to stop and make a couple of upgrades to the pump action shot. I don't have the white phosphorus I'll need for that. And the good double barreled and common revolver are both getting sold. Along with most of my current weapon loadout. Now let's get out of here. If I can find the exit, and I'll be returning to Whitechapel. Sorry, Whitechapel, I'm at West End. And do some more asking around about Mr. Dawson, probably. No, actually, I probably don't need to as I've unlocked all the hints there are about him. Yeah, I've already asked around about the guy. just a whole lot of nothing I saw lying there. I thought it would have been some more lore items, maybe. Let's get up here. Back into the mansion. And I think this is a nice place to cut this episode. Probably in between this session and the next one, I will do that mission for finding the restaurant for Mr. Calhoun and figure out when exactly I'm going to be able to do the mission to retrieve Usher Tolltree's notebook, because I have no idea why I have to wait on that. As well as finding and introducing myself to all the other members of the society, uh, sorry, the other citizens in the area, I'm going to find and talk to all of them as much as I can, get as many side quests as I can, ex including our mother, because I'm going to want to do that on camera, just because it will be rather important, I think, or at least it will feel like it should. But, in any case, thank you very much for watching this episode of Vampire. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.